this tutorial will show you how to create this out of focus caption effect where you can see the edges of the caption are blurred as if the edges are out of focus which is very trendy at the moment online is how it's done so here's our caption in the timeline and we're going to demonstrate by adding an effect to the top clip which is the word out head over to effects search for gaussian blur then drag gaussian blur over to the clip then head up to effect controls find gaussian blur in the effects Select the ellipse, you can see it on the display there. This is going to help us place where we want the blur to occur. Under Gaussian Blur, find Blurriness and crank it up. So I've ended up with 43 there. And then it's just a case of tweaking the mask. You can see it's got toggle points around the mask and you can use the cursor to grab the edges, move it around, change the size, change the shape. And you might want to zoom in. So I use the scroll on the mouse to do that. Also, you can press down on the scroll and drag around to move the display around once it's zoomed in. Now that we've zoomed in, we can see that the edge of the blur is quite sharp. To make it more realistic, we need to feather the edge. So head over to Mask Feather and adjust the value. And now it's just a case of balancing Mask Feather, blurriness and opacity to get the look you want. You can tweak it about, but I've ended up with 38 for Mask Feather, left it at 100% for opacity and 25 for blurriness. So that's the basics of the effect and there's a quick way to add it to other clips. If you right click and copy the Gaussian blur and then go down to the clip you want to add it to and just paste it on, Control V or Command V. And then from there, it's the same deal. So as long as that clip's selected, go under Gaussian blur, click on mask and you'll see the mask on the display and then you just move it to the new position. It will only affect the clip that it's on. But there is another way which will only involve one mask but will affect the whole caption. So to start again, rather than pressing undo a million times, I can just remove the effects from the clips by grouping them, right clicking, going to remove attributes. I'll deselect everything that I don't want to remove, which is everything other than Gaussian blur. And there's Lumetri color there as well. I don't know why that's there, but I'll get rid of that as well. Then press OK. And this time, rather than adding the effect to each individual clip, we're going to add it to the whole caption in one go. To do that, group the clips, right click, select next name the nest press ok and then it's pretty much the same process again add the gaussian blur to the clip and increase the blurriness but of course the blurriness is in the middle of the ellipse and we need it on the outside for it to make sense for the whole caption so back over to effect controls click inverted here which inverts the effect so the blur is now on the outside so now of course it's just a case of tweaking the mask adjusting the blur the feather the opacity to get it to the effect that you want and you can also use this same technique on an adjustment layer rather than a nest same principles, just different ways to do it. But for now, I'm going to finish the captions with some movement by clicking into the nest and adding a preset to bring them up smoothly. Cool, and then a preset to blur them out. And that about wraps this up. So if you found this video useful, check this one out. And if you want these effects and loads more already done for you, take a look at the Solid Coast Essentials effects pack. The link's in the description down below. It's a whole bunch of effects, just drag and drop to easily add that smooth and professional touch to your vids. Transitions, caption effects, reveals, fluid motion effects. Saves me hours. I reckon it will save you hours too. Go grab it. See ya.